the tab that's from to the other ones. And it's not letting me because reference control is off right now. Um, so what we'll do here, I'll just do copy jam and I'm gonna grab, I'll do control F and I'm going to find a point. Oh, that's Test run two, include model, find now. So I'm just going to grab all these. So I don't know if you guys have ever done this before, but this is a useful tool um, using the search function. So I, I've named, we name all of our, our points in our components uh, specific ways so that we can use this uh, to our advantage to, to find all the uh, points. Okay, so now if I, I got all those points in there. And let's just, let's just for some reason I think probably, those probably are not named correctly. So what we'll do here, oh, maybe that's why. I click edit this. So now I'm gonna, I'm gonna thumb, put that there and Just kind of trying to edit this stuff. Normal. I don't have all the features in here, but just for example, like, I mean, just using this, like, there's so much manipulative uh, with it. So like, I can I can come in here and manipulate this curve, um, but there's no there's no parametric to it, like, like it doesn't know that it needs to be at a certain boundary, radius, which is kind of what I'm trying to get at here is um, you get a hose from a vendor, um, let's try to use all that data to our advantage. Okay, so that's in some of the other presentations, um, you know, less data, you get the data, use that data and, and um, try to use it best with with very, so it, it, it may seem complex, but when you're when you look at the style curve, it, it's a little more complex. It takes more manipulation and knowledge, technical knowledge, right, to get to that point. So, so let's go back here. Okay, so let's go to our assembly once. We got 10 minutes left here. Um, I'm going to just quickly go through. So say you need a solid model. Um, you need it for, say, um, weights. You want to get a weight of this hose. Um, actually, a weight with fluid as well. Um, so they actually will calculate that for you too. Um, so type solids, and from here, actually a better way to do it, there's this little thing right by your mile tree here. So in your pipeline view, if we scroll down, here's all four of these pipes. Um, so you could go into, into each of these individually and create a solid from it, um, but this is a faster way to do it. So here's all four. I can just right click, solid, create. And then it creates my solid files. So I can then, this here is the blue, that's what we were seeing earlier. Um, and I guess one other thing that's kind of cool here is the flow direction. So if you set this up correctly, um, let's say let's just activate this one. If I set this up so that um, it gives you some arrows here. And you can use this, I'm pretty sure you can use this in um, some of like the CSD uh, stuff in like 305. Um, I'm not too sure, but I, I've seen some, some 
stuff online with it. Um, but it's kind of cool. You, you got the you got the flow direction on here, and that's also where the schematics come in. So if you have a schematic drawing um, and you want to take all that information and put it into your models, um, that's where knowing where all your fittings are, um, putting those fittings where they, they should be, and um, it knows how to make that fight and start it and finish it. Um, so one last thing I want to do quick before I just open this, open the floor. Um, say you want to get a length for this now. So if we look at the parameters of this file, this solid file, um, it comes up with a length center. Here's our length. Okay, so that's just under 2,000 millimeters. Um, but we still need the length because how you actually measure this this uh, pipe, you still need the length from here to the end of the fitting. Um, if if you're buying this from from uh, uh, somebody, so you can go through and manually get that information, right? Um, but what we did is we actually, I set up in these models a uh, parameter driven by just a, 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 a length measurement. And I labeled it length underscore center. So now I can, I can search and find those things in when I, I can create a relation and, and get that information every time. So, Let's just go into parameters here, and let's customize a filter, and we'll do a new customization, filter by all subtypes, and I'll do it by name, and I'm going to label this length underscore center, add that, it's okay, and then we'll actually filter by it. And there we go. So here's 18 millimeters. So in my model tree, it actually points out where it is. It's that 90 degree fitting. So what that is is 18 millimeters is from this end point here to the center of this 90 degree fitting. And here's 30 mil, which is from the end point here to the end of the fitting. So now all I got to do is create a parameter and um, grab all these references. So in my relations, I already got one set up, but I'll just redo it. I'll do length equals, and in this case, I I don't have any negative values. Sometimes you may get them. Depends really on how you set your how you set those uh, analysis features up, the length measurements. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just do a right click into your relations plus and then I'll do a right click to this one, into relations plus this one, into relations to verify. And if I want to find that, I'll go back to my default. And here's my length. And it's also designated so that if I wanted to see this in windchill or downstream, um, I can search for it in Windchill. Um, that's just a future capability that we're trying to get to, um, to try to use some of the some more stuff from the model um, instead of relying on um, manual entry. Because so this would be there's no manual entry here. It's all it's all driven by the software. So um, that's all. That's all I had to really present. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anything they want to maybe talk about, go through here? Yeah, so I can I can come in here and go to applications, piping, and I can say, um, I think it was this one. Yeah, so that's my that's a fixed length right there. So I can come in to this flex shape 
and I have to select that assembly. And then I go in here and I can click on this segment. I set that to fix that originally so I can change it back to free. You can, you can toggle between three and five. What about the I have, I, that's a good question. I honestly, I wish I knew the answer. Because that is, that's something great that I wish you could do. I wish you could switch between straight and flag free, but you can't. The only way to do that is to toggle your model tree up, delete that segment, and then re rerun it as a, a fixed or free length. So you can't switch from straight to free. You always have to delete that and, and grab a new one. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I'm running 303. So if there's if there is something in 304, 5, 6, please speak up because I would be happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Maybe it's something we put on the site, the PCC user site, and recommend them to. I, I would I would agree. Um, I mean, yeah, if you're trying to like program something to to, to do this, um, I can see what you mean by like a straight the straight section. Yeah, one thing that I I thought about too is if there is a way to program like a whole so you could route it. Um, because if you think about it, right, so if you have, like, all these datum points and you name them, say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4S, four 4S four meaning straight, um, maybe there's a way for a program to go through and create it as long as you give it the information for your raw material. Um, but I don't know. It's the time. How, how much time like, are you going to spend in looking into that stuff? So.
Silicon manufacturing thing too. Absolutely. If you, had, if you had like a work instruction, that's where yes. something like that. Communicate where you're going. <laughs>